this is Tom from Horizon Hobby and Spectrum RC here to give you another tutorial on the Spectrum iX12. This tutorial will cover servo setup. So this is a menu on the iX12's airware program where you do a lot of the programming and I'm just going to kind of give you some tips and tricks whilst using that menu. So we'll go to the screen and we're going to tap on model adjust, the button on the top or the bottom left. Model adjust and then you'll see servo setup right there on the top. Tap on that. So you'll see at the top there's all the things that you can do with servo setup. Reversing, travel, sub trim, speed, absolute travel, and balance. So reversing, I suppose that's fairly self-explanatory, but we can reverse the channels that we need to on our aircraft here. You do that by tapping the little slider on the sides of the channel. So let's say we need to reverse aileron. We tap that. Or if we want to reverse throttle, as you guys will see on other radios of ours, it will want to confirm that you want to reverse throttle. This is a safety feature. Uh, we'll hit no, because we don't. That's a, usually you don't reverse your throttle unless it's a servo setup throttle. Um, but we've reversed one channel. We'll go to travel. Here's an, another important part here. So travel is endpoint adjustment, as known to uh, other RC radios. This will be the high and low, or the left and right, complete travel of that surface or that control. So let's say we want to uh, increase or decrease the aileron travel. So you'll see here, once we tapped on aileron, we've got left, something that looks like a padlock, right, we've got values here with a slider, we've got re reset, OK, and cancel. So let's say we're going to reduce the travel on our aileron left. We can just tap the negative here, and you just keep on tapping it. What I like to do is say, okay, I'm going to go down to 60% from 80%. I'll tap it 20 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20, somewhere around there until you get to the point you want. And you can do the same thing for right. Or, if you don't like that, tap the reset and it'll take it back to the default negative 100 position. It'll do that for both left and right. Let's say you want to adjust both at the same time. That's what this lock here in the middle is for. It locks both the values together. You'll see that both of these have highlighted. This time we're going to use the slider. So instead of using the negative and positive, we can tap and hold on this little slider here and move it. And it'll move both of them. You'll see the values will change while I'm moving it. Simple enough there. Hit reset to go back to zero. We're going to hit OK, because we're just going to leave it where it was at. But you can do that for every channel. You can scroll down, down to AUG7, which is channel 12, and adjust them however you see fit. OK, so let's talk about subtrim. This is the next what part of the menu. Subtrim essentially is so that you can center your control surfaces, or if you're a multi-rotor pilot and you need to get that just to be right in the middle on the configurator, that's what subtrim's for. So let's say you got an aileron that's drooped a little bit, and you need it to go up a little bit, you're going to use subtrim so that it is center when your sticks are center with the wing. So subtrim is pretty simple, just a lot like uh, travel. We're, we're once again, we're going to go to aileron. To get into the aileron, we're going to tap on the value on the right-hand side there to get into that control surface. And just like travel, we've got negative and positive on the sides. So we can adjust it. And let's pretend we're watching control surface. As we're hitting this, it's going down until it's centered. And then we can hit OK. Or if we don't like that, we can hit Reset and hit OK. Or let's say if we just want to cancel, OK, we put in negative 10, but we're not OK with that, or we want to go back to zero, you can hit cancel as well, and hit OK. Simple enough, we can do that with all 12 channels. All right, next we're going to talk about speed. So speed is servo speed or control speed. It's not necessarily the speed that you move the sticks. It's going to constrain those movements or those uh, trigger switches uh, to a certain speed. This is helpful for landing gear or uh, if you just need to slow something down. If you feel like it's just too fast, that's a function that you can do with all 12 channels on the iX12. So go into the screen here. We can slow down. One good one that I think we could use to kind of demonstrate this will be gear. You tap on the normal there. You can change between the high and the low and we'll increase well, actually, we'll decrease the delay, because right now it's normal. That's as fast as it can go, and we can slow it down. We can slow it down so that it takes it a second to go from one end to the other, and we'll do it on both sides. 
I'm going to drag this one up. We'll hit OK. And I'll kind of demonstrate it just so you guys see that it did so. So we're looking at the gear channel there. I'll flip my gear switch. It took it a second to go from the top to the bottom. And that's servo speed. So next up in the servo setup menu is absolute travel. A lot like travel, but absolute travel is another constraint so that you are not overdriving a control surface. Uh, let's say you've got a mix that mixes rudder to aileron and you're deflecting both. Technically that could overdrive the servo because it's giving a higher value than what travel would normally be. Uh, so absolute travel constrains that down so that you are not overthrowing your servo. So we'll tap on absolute travel at the top here and it'll look a lot like uh, the travel adjust menu but it's going to give us 1 and 2048. Those are millisecond ratings or readings and we can adjust those just like we did with travel Many people probably aren't going to use this as more of an advanced kind of feature, but it is something that you want to be aware of if you are overdriving a servo. Let's say you, you could deflect your ailerons and you hear a servo buzzing uh, and you can tell that it's constrained. You'll want to check and reduce the absolute travel so that that doesn't happen. That's what absolute travel is for. Next up is the balance feature on the servo setup menu. The balance feature is another kind of safeguard, uh, a lot like absolute travel, to where uh, different servos that are controlling the same control are balanced together. Uh, so let's say you have a single aileron surface, but you have two servos on it. Sometimes one servo may go up be a little bit higher than the other and you use balance to keep it so that they're in the same uh, place as they travel and we'll kind of go through that here. So you tap on balance on the top right and we have these number of points here and they are, each point has a designation. So we can choose a channel, we'll choose aileron. If we move the aileron stick you can see there's a little crosshair there that'll move with the stick and let's say this aileron servo at the end deflection we feel like it's pushing too hard and it's kind of causing some binding on another servo we'll hit the negative to reduce it down a little bit so essentially it's more of a, a ratio it's it's the same all the way across except for here and we can adjust those accordingly however we fee see, uh, feel that it needs to be that's what the balance feature is for it's just essentially making it so that fine-tuning the travel of a surface or a servo so that it, everything works well with each other. So that's it for the servo setup menu. If you guys have any other questions, go to horizonhobby.com and we'll be there for you.